Welcome to the show. Today, we are looking at the latest possible treatment for Alzheimer's. Al, Al, Alzheimer's? Al, Alzheimer's? <laughs> Why do I have a hard time saying that? While we are constantly finding new ways to detect and monitor Alzheimer's, it's the treatment part that needs to get going sooner than later. I mean, shoot, you know, dogs can detect Alzheimer's and they are man's oldest friend. It's no surprise in the world of medicine that you may find a happy accident with your newly developed drug. For example, Propecia, a hair growth medicine, was first used to treat enlarged prostates. Nowadays, it's used to treat hair loss in men, excessive hair growth in women, and as a hormone therapy for transgender women. Then there's Valium, used to treat anxiety and seizures thanks to its calming effects, but was discovered by accident when scientists were working on a class of dyes. That's, that's a weird one. And possibly the most famous of them all, which is a big topic for today's video, Sildenafil. And you may know it by its street name, Blue Diamond Phillips. Viagra. <laughs> Viagra was originally created to treat high blood pressure and angina. That's right, the little blue wiener pill can actually be used to help people whose memory ain't too good no more. After new data published in Nature Aging, the Cleveland Clinic Medicine Institute found that sildenafil is associated with 69% reduced likelihood of Alzheimer's disease developing in patients. And this is based on a database of more than 7 million patients and after six years of follow-ups. So now they will be going through further testing in clinical trials to see the true efficacy in patients with the, with the, with the disease. <laughs> we should all be rooting for this to go well because as of right now, Alzheimer's is bound to impact 13.8 million Americans by 2050. Man, why is everything happening in 2050? We got rising sea levels, increased global temperatures, and now more people with bad brains? When we are able to repurpose existing drugs for new treatments, we can save loads of time and money. In attempts to lock down more results on sildenafil, researchers tested with stem cells and found increased brain cell growth and decreased that stuff which is bad stuff, so that was a good test. They're now on track to do a mechanistic trial, which is an experiment using an intervention in healthy subjects or patients to better understand human biology and or disease, and a phase two randomized clinical trial to test sildenafil's benefits for patients. Historically, any drugs used in clinical trials to treat the specific changes in the brain related to Alzheimer's have failed to be approved by the FDA in the end this isn't the only drug they are testing. It's just the only one with a boner side effect. I mean, bonus side effect, a bonus <laughs> side effect. The method they used by sifting through all of the data they had access to will allow them to look into other neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and that. Hopefully all of these clinical trials go well and we can have a healthier 2050 even though we will all be underwater. <laughs> but anyway, be sure to watch this video to learn how people can see colors when they hear music. It's pretty wild stuff. And as always, thanks for watching and what did you learn today?